Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. And today I want to be continuing on with the game. Uh, it's been a couple, it's been like a week and a half, maybe more now. But I wanted to play more. I really like this game and I wanted to just get more Zebra bonus stuff out. Either way, let's get started. You and I will travel a ways together. I will teach you all I know and you will destroy he who has taken my place. Oh, okay. All right, we'll try to get that done in the next level, which seems to be the Empress. So we got those levels done. But yeah, we're just making our way because we have multiple to choose from, but for right now, let's get started. Our companion card, of course, is the Trickster. Um, when it comes to encounters, I think I want to do new things. We got the shiny one. Um, but the, all these new ones, or maybe stuff that has unknown things to it. Of course, ones that have tokens to them definitely as well. But like we've we've seen this one. Um, we've seen this and we've seen that, but they also have tokens to them, which can be very important. So, I mean, we have the choice if we want to see, I really don't remember most of these. I mean, I remember the market thief, I remember arm wrestling, um, deep water, maybe I think that's just a fight. Um, distressed damsel was good. Uh, fork in the road, Nomus exchange, lost boy. I didn't like the making that decision. Um, tarts, pies, and exotic lies, temple, Prayers, the old, let's do the old maid. I think that one was good as well. Let's continue with that. When it comes to our weapons, of course, we have lots of options. We'll try the humble hammer, because it's new. This is 18 damage, it's a cardinal blade. The winter's bane as well. This um will knock down a northerner. I don't know if we'll be dealing with northerners. Um, Damaging defense, but it's a heavy shield, which I'm not a big fan of, so we'll do a normal shield. This is new, that's a new shield. This is a new armor piece. We don't know what this ring does. We don't know what this ring does. We don't know what that ring does. We'll find out another time. Continuing, when it comes to this stuff, supplies. Oh, I guess this is supplies provide a unique benefit that applies at the start of your journey. So I can either start with five food or a soldier sword. We'll find weapons and stuff on our way, but food can sometimes, I feel like it's gonna be hard to find that. So we'll start with that and we will just start. Throw our hats to the wind. In this case, the Empress is a symbol a leader of the Northern clans, but not their only one. Oh yeah? Okay, the Empress. So that's the one we're doing today. Now okay. we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Thanks. Your pride, your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Cool. Elder's gift. Raiders had destroyed our village, the Elder of Talos explains in a hustled voice, or a hushed voice. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his cloak, Rethra's iron. Tis the only weapon that will, that, that will break the seal protecting their camp. He hands you the weapon. So we already got a big old Hethra's iron. Anger is a powerful force. Yeah, you can say that again. Hethra's iron. It has shockwave perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to a single target. Impact tracks enemies that, and causes stun. Ooh. Armor breaker. Bash causes additional damage to armor. Heavy. Bash deals additional damage to armor and enemies while they block. Susceptible to evade cannot repost. Fame required 20, so I can't actually hold this because I don't have enough fame. Weird. The weapon is heavier than you imagined, perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic, preventing you from wielding it to its potential. You require 20 fame to equip this weapon. Earn fame by completing encounters. The Elder looks straight in your eyes, as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are for men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may be, or may, may bear Hrethra's iron. You do well to remember that. Let's ask him some questions. What would you like to know? Make it quick. Ask what you must do. Ask to use Hrethra's iron. Okay, what must I do? You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat the shaman, the fifth village, before the fifth village falls. The village needs a hero. The villagers need a hero. The town of Brayden is surely in danger and must be warned. So we're gonna warn Brayden, which looks like we're coming up on. Um, ask about the shaman. Oh, I'll we'll ask about everything. Great artifacts require great heroes, he explains. He never turn down the opportunity to aid others. Seek out greatness and you will be rewarded. Cool. 
Ask about the shaman, a twisted creature with great power. Never seen on the battlefield, but I hear she commands her warriors from her camp in the forest to the east. We sent our warriors to find her, but a magical barrier prevents anyone from entering her sanctum. It is said that Rethrazire can break through such a barrier. If she were attacked at her camp, there, there, these raids could surely be stopped for good. Ask about the Empire. The Elder scowls. Empire? What good is the Empire? Not but tax collectors and carrion cows. Six raids here this year, and not a soldier to be seen. So much for protection. They're less reliable than the worst of the gods. Begin your quest. Okay, thanks for the info. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos not, not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Okay, so we'll figure all that out after I drink some water. Refreshing. Refreshing. Okay, what do we got going on here? It is the Raiders' ambush. The villain takes their time to bait their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. Okay, Raiders' ambush. A rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as the cords of a northern bola wrap around your body. Oh, that's a bola, yeah. Okay. All right. A party of northerners charges at you as you break free. Tr oh gosh. Okay, well we do have Malaclips. We have Trapper of Frost and Trapper of, so two of them. Interesting, okay. So I don't even know what weapon I have right now. I did not check. It it's definitely not the, the Hrethro's Ire. The -la 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 -la. There we go. Well, let's fight. Oh, this is so cool. I missed this game. I missed it. Okay, so how do I play? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, he said, my friend here is killed far better than you. I mean, don't tell him that. You gotta get them, let them get their hopes up. I gotta remember what buttons to press, but I think I'm getting it right. Oh, that time I did. Okay, awesome. There we go. Can't land in mud hits anymore, are you, buddy? Okay, dodge that, hit you. Malclips is helping. RT, RT, RT. Got you, I think. Um, no. There we go. Wait, oh, I didn't dodge that one. So I'm taking a couple hits here. That's okay. That's okay. Gotcha. Okay, you are going down. Awesome. So I'm actually getting used to the two-hander. I thought I would have a really hard time with it, but now I'm adapting quite well. Raider's ambush completed. With the Raiders defeated, you contemplate your next move. You gain two fame. Search for spoils. Let's do it. Okay, ooh. There was a pain there that did not look unpainful, and I got it. 10 life. As you search for valuables, one of the northerners grabs you. With his last breath, he runs his blade into your side. Ouch, that's an injury as well. Yikes, I got unlucky there. Let's move to our left. You strike me as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. Well, I'd, I'd rather not, because I might not gain fame from that one. You hear shouting up ahead. As you make your way down the cobbled street, you see flights, lights flickering on the road in front of you. Burning building. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze, so there's a fire. Of course, it's called Burning Building. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers, please help, my family is in there, anyone, please help. Brave the fire yourself, let Malaclips attempt the rescue. Let's brave the fire ourselves, because we're idiots sometimes. This is one of my favorite innovations. It combines many different elements of our game into one. Okay, I just want to not die. One of toil, what does that mean? What is one of toil? I mean, it seems to be the best thing I could possibly get. The other things are failure and injury. Okay. Excellent, a wise decision. Okay, brave the fire yourself. Through a haze of smoke, you find the woman's youngest daughter crying under a bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the blaze. A villager rushes to your aid. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. But be warned, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. You gain two fame. 
The woman embraces her child, then turns to you once more. My husband! Did you see my husband? He's still in there! Please, please help! The dealer adds another life pain card to the wheel gambit. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so I see it. Right, the two. Oh, but it, it really keeps rolling, doesn't it? So, oh, I see, so I can either, I can redraw. Oh, but did he take the damage? What happened here? I don't understand. Yes, yes, one to oil, here we go. So did Malakov take the damage? I don't really understand. You find the woman's son attempting to find his way out of the, through the smoke and the flames. Grabbing his hand, you lead him back through the building to safety. A villager rushes to your aid. Thank you, paper venture. I can take it from here, but be warned, the, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. The woman embraces, but my husband, have you seen my husband? I haven't seen your stinking husband. I can't. I'm going to die. I already have one entry. I can't stack another one on top of that. So we're gonna decline. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. While you are unable to save everyone, the villagers are grateful for your valiant effort. You gain eight fame. We're already at 14. How many we need, 20? Yeah, 20 fame we needed. So we actually came out of that pretty good. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is Malaclips's problem. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclips's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can tell whether you can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an inanimate an inanimate pile of Creasy rags, yeah, we've had this one before. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped on the ground around him. The greasy goblin man waves you away, his attention already taken by a new group of unsuspecting shoppers. This encounter requires Malaclips. Yeah, I guess Mal maybe Malaclips is gone for a couple of turns? I don't understand. Either way, we're at the general store. The shopkeeper nods to you as you enter. Adventurer, how's the world out there? <laughs> Leave, I'm out of here. Don't even wanna get started with that. Um, buy equipment, buy food, or buy healing. We don't need the healing that bad. Well, let's check out the equipment right now. Um, nothing I can afford, all out of my pay range. Um, if I take out, check out my inventory real quick anyways. Um, I have the villager's ax, I got a wooden shield. I don't even have like another sword, do I? No, I, I have this, I can't equip it, but we could do the neglected sword, but this just does so much more damage. So if I can just, you know, continue to avoid getting hit, I'll be fine. Um, and I definitely need the one-handed practice if I'm gonna end up, you know, what's it called, using this iron. I could buy healing, I don't need that necessarily right now. It would be good to probably buy some food, but it's just so much money for so little food that I think I'm just gonna leave for now. So I really did just leave. <laughs> Arm wrestling, cool. The Carnival of Strength travels from village to Hamlet, searching for the strongest from all over the land. Each visit, you will wrestle only one opponent. Each win advances you to greater opponents and greater rewards. In the second round of the competition, you sit opposite to the aged frame of Huntley Toothless. He boasts about once being a silencer of the th for the Thieves' Guild. Oh my. Like a silencer, I think is a magician that can make it so that you can't speak. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Me too. Okay, so so far we, oof, got seven. I'm gonna reroll these two. I think I gotta reroll the whole thing, but I got a three. So if I could just throw, there we go, matching it. Set and match, well continuing. You continue to impress. I'm glad, we got two fame for that. Okay, Huntley crumples in the feet almost instantly. You're lucky I'm not 20 or 30 years younger, he says grumbling. You gain two fame. Okay, so there's 10 gold for us too, in the money. In the money, money, we got 30 gold now. Mm. You take your rewards from the pursuer on the way out of the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. So like in a different game, I guess, in a next, next level. Okay, so we can't go back to the shop, which is actually really silly. Um, you arrive at the city markets to meet with Malclips' associate. Merc, Malaclips calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask you, my handsome friend. 10 gold for us. Okay, we have 10 gold. We didn't have 10 gold last time. Merc, old bean, the bard looks. No, we did. Furtively around before quickly waving at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malaclips's Malaclips for a while. The kind of information costs more than a few coins. You sputter indignantly. I will require a test of skill from her. He turns and points at Yoon. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays a, 
uh, his meager wear. So last time we ate what? A luminous purple flower. Let's eat a forget me not. A flower pleasantly of, uh, tastes pleasantly of berries and grass. Oh my, oh yeah, that's right. I don't think it matters what we do. We just gotta get a good score. I gotta redo all of that, I think. Reroll. Let's see if we can't get lucky. Believe in the dice. Oh. Maybe I, no, if I kept one of them, I still would've lost. Surprised you lost that one. Me too. You feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck and you collapse on the floor. You wait till Malcolm's splashing you with water. Merc has left and you see him attempting to steal a seed bun from the baker's stone. We'll come back later and try again. Well, yeah, I didn't get it that time. Let's go here. Let us see what the next town holds. Okay, following the Talos's elders, or the Talos elders' instructions, you find yourself on the road to Brayden. Continue to the next village. I, don't, I mean, I don't got too much to do left here. And Dust falls as you continue on your quest. Cool. Okay, the King's Road. A village burns. Take lightly the mantle of fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. That is true. Uh, you arrive at Brayden to find it under attack from the raiders. As the village burns, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, please help! We must stop the savages before all is lost! You draw your weapon and rush to their aid. One-handed weapons are recommended against northerners. You can change your equipment in the inventory. One-handed, huh? So, this is not one-handed. This is one-handed. Okay. Let's try it. We're going against a forest trapper and three of frost. We have three of toil, though we have three farmers. Okay, so that's what one of toil is. Toil is a farmer. Okay. Lesson learned. Um, well, Let's do this battle. And also, thank you to anybody who's been watching this series. I know it's not the most viewed series in the world, but uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you to anybody who does take the time. This is cool. This is like a totally, ow. My, okay, well, it was cool until I got a giant sword in the face. Um, dodge it. I can't dodge, like, I mean, I can't uh, parry that, so. I just gotta be careful. Okay. I'm just, I'm aware. I'm ready. And then we can do this. Oh! Oh, that must have hurt. Oh, come on. I should have been ready to parry that, and I wasn't. I gotta dodge that. I wish you could. No, that is so not fair. That is so much like I dodged that. No. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, that was good. That was real good. Let's start hitting you. I hate these guys that just throw this stuff. Okay, do this again. Boom. And then I can. Oh. I can have you help me out, which is good. As there are still plenty of northerners to get hit by. Okay, I don't want to get hit anymore, so if I could just be good at parrying or maybe have them attack other people. Gotcha. Dodge it. Yes. Go for it. Boom. And then turn to somebody else, maybe? Okay. It's just you. So I got you. <laughs> just like I'm out, because like, hey, let me sneak in and get a hug. Here's my book. Okay. Well, Malchus wasn't a huge help there, but... Whatever works. Can Mount Clips die, by the way? Like, I don't understand. Like, maybe he can, maybe he can't. A village burns. Armory gain. Humble hammer. Humility is the beginning of power. This is much better than my current two-handed weapon. Humble hammer, slam, requires hits eight. eight. Um, performs a strike that causes damage to an area when if activated, deals 120% damage to every enemy hit. Hmm. Oh, okay, I like that, so. The more people we hit with the slam, the better. Humble hero, weapon deals less damage the higher the wielder's fame. Wow, that's not good, because I'm gonna have high fame. Wow, that's really stinky. Heavy, bash deals additional damage to armor and enemies while they block. Susceptible to evade, cannot repost. Will you equip it? No, not yet. Now the oh. power is yours to you. So now we can finally equip this. We already read most of this. Um, let's do it. This is what I want more of. So the surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend their wounds. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. And please accept the small token of our gratitude. We get four fame. And anything more? Oh, we got food as well, cool. I needed that. Wow, lots of food. We're good, the worthy hero. Are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The raiders will hide from you no longer. 
Oh my, that's tough. You turn Hrethra's ire over in your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it now weighs less or if you have newfound strength, but either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. You have enough fame to equip Hrethra's iron. Malakos looks in awe, wow! That would earn a pretty penny at the market, but uh, first, let's use it to break the barrier to the Northern Raiders camp. Slay the shaman and stop the rage once and for all. Luckily, he has some kind of, you know, conscious for good do-gooding of the Sanctum. So that's there. And remembering the Elder of Talos' instructions, you set out toward the Sanctum of the Shaman. Locate and defeat the Shaman. Cool. So let's move here. We got plenty At of food what now. what point does honor bend to pragmatism? Oh my. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? I'll assist you and if the thugs show up, I'll beat them up. Okay, 14's a tough thing to reach, but we already got 12. Oh, chances are very high I can win this. I got a double skull, are you kidding me? Sorry. Why, thank you. Now, if you would be so kind as to give me all of your gold, the woman draws a pair of concealed blades from her corset. Come out, boys. All right, you wanna go down, lady? We're doing this. We got four of greed and, and anarchist of greed. Do we get to fight the lady, too? We better. If she's gonna start pulling out the weapon, she better be ready to fight. Okay, well, we're getting all of them. We're winning this. So we have that weapon. That new weapon is equipped right now, but I gotta pause the game. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Totally didn't just have to do something real quick. Okay, so we're ready for a battle. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I know, it looks nice, doesn't it, lady? I mean, I guess that lady's me. Hrethra's ire bestowed to the people of the Western fishing villages by the clans of the North in a time of peace and prosperity. Okay. All right, so help me out right away because we got lots of guys to fight here. Oh, that must hurt. Oh, that looks so painful. Oh, oh, okay, who am I hitting? All of you? Okay. I think I wanna hit the one with the fancy hat as well because you're throwing the explosive bombs. Yeah, not happening this time, sorry, buddy. I just hit you with my hammer and it works every time. Oh, oh, I can't repost both of those things at once, can I? I mean, can I repost at all? That's sort of the thing. Okay, hold on, dodging it or not. I'm actually about to die. So I would like it if I could not die. Um, and we just got one more person left to take care of. Please just take care of them. Oh. Jeez, I am not in a good spot now, though. I need to be careful. Because I'm at like a little less than 30 health. Okay. So, what does that get me? I'm not sure. With the thugs defeated, you search your bodies for valuables. Oh my. Can we get something good here? Please. Seven. Re roll, and please don't ruin this for me. Four. Yeah, we get 10. What do we get? You find some food amongst their possessions. You gain four fame. That's gonna be helpful. Nice. And we get 24 fame now. So even if somehow we lose fame, I'm not sure if that's possible, we still have sort of like some backdrop before we lose the, the, the hammer. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything I, that may help you with your journey? Ask for longer life, ask for gold, ask for supplies. I need more health. May you live a long life, she says, with, and with a fragile wave of her hand, you feel a warm sensation through your body. We get 10 max health life. More importantly, it gives me plus 10 health right now. So we can move to this, and it'll give us another plus five. Friendly a Innkeeper. Part of every story, especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. Okay, cool. I wish you would've talked a little longer that time so I could drink, but now you always talk short whenever I need you to talk long, and then you talk forever when I'm ready to talk. As night draws in, you return to the Rusty Razor. The proprietor greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the Rusty Razor? I guess I've been here before. He'll buy a meal or rest. What do you require? I need healing. Draw a life gain card for 10 gold. I'll do what I can, I, I can to patch up your wounds. Okay. Oh my, so I mean, no matter what, I'm gonna win here. It's too quick to really tell. And we're gonna get 20. Fantastic. So I can redraw, or I can continue. I'm gonna continue. Okay, cool. Back up to 70 health already, that's fantastic. 
Um, I can buy more healing, I can... But I don't have too much. Ask you about lodging, discuss the latest rumors. The innkeeper tells you about the recent cheese festival kept the inn busy and his coffers full. Interesting. Let's leave for now. We leave the inn. And let me move here. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. It is at, it is as the Talos Elder said, Malakos remarks, the Shaman Sanctum, Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. Use Hrethra's iron. You raise Hrethra's iron above your head and bring it down against a magical wall with all of your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, the vanishing as, then vanishing as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Malaclips, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in a newly fallen shadow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bald and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. Okay, the Wanderer. He does not flinch, nor seems even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Wow, holy cow! Then you see Hearn, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw plated charms, and odysseys hanging from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless raiders, worshipping their leader in an eerie stillness. The defender of villages and the exiled one, the shaman says with a hiss. She steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. Let this end. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bald northerner calmly. Okay, that's not the voice of a bald hero, or bald northerner. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. You ready your weapon as the shaman. Oh, so we're on the same side, side as the word, word of the wanderer. As the shaman and her clansmen surround you. Cool, so we have a friend! Yay! Okay, I thought I had to go against everyone myself. Let's see what we can do with this. I only have 70 something health. I gotta be careful. I gotta focus on, before attacking, I need to focus on remembering to parry, the dodge as much as I can. There's the shaman. If we can take her out first, apparently that's good. Raid leader Gerda. Raid leaders are the front line of the Northern Assault, centers of the tactical and religious guidance. The shaman casts spells that heal her allies, attack her quickly to interrupt the smell, the spell, and the smell. She smells nasty. Okay, um, oh, 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 come on now. Come on, we're gonna hit you as hard as I can and dodge it, okay, oh. I don't know how I dodge that, but if I hit LB, I can mess up my move. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, okay, LB, or not, um, RT, LT. There's too many T's and L's to press. Okay, oh, oh gosh, I need to get rid of you because you're just all up in my face right now. But we hit pretty hard, but I'm already down to a little more than 50 health. Oh, okay, wow, that's a lot of people. Where's the northerner, pal? I don't know, I'm just gonna hit you right in the face, or not. Stop being a jerk. Oh, come on, five out of eight. I gotta remember that I have that. So if I go six, seven, eight, and then I can move to you and just, boom! Look at how much damage that does! You can sign me up for another one of those! Okay, hold on, hold on. I could probably maybe have taken her out there, but I need to just survive for a little bit longer. Come on, I know you're healing your friends, but if I just get rid of you right now, LT, LT, I'm spamming LT! Boom, we win! Get out of here, jerks! I don't even need to do the rest of it, that's fantastic. Glad to know, glad to know. Okay, so even though it's been a week or two since I've last played, I'm, I'm getting back into it. The Sanctum, Sanctum. The shaman's body rises as a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the skies clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Corbjorn, he explains. I was born into the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You did not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost. You have befriended Kalbjorn the Wanderer. Nice Kalbjorn, me and you all together. All the way. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain for my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Cool, I like Kalbjorn. Let us head back and find your friend. 
And with that, you and Kalbjorn make your way back through the forest in search of mana clips. And that's Another it. My card returns to my deck. Do not worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. Okay, I I'm sure we do. Plenty of them. Well done. Another northerner falls before you, and a new companion joins your journey. Yes, now we have a new companion we can choose instead of, you know who. So for defeating the Shaman of the North, we get an Armor of Gluttony, Ring of Food, Pious Robes, and a Frontier Barbet. For defeating the Shaman of the North, we get Fame and Shame, Watchtower, Raider's Ambush, and Bride Skirmish. For proving yourself a worthy hero, we get Hrethra's Iron. And for befriending Kalbjorn, we get Clan Eyebright, the Wanderer, and that's about it. We get another token, though. It's gonna be inside of this one for defending all of the villages. Elder's Gift, wow, silvery. Cool, so there's another level done in Hand of Fate 2. I like it. So there's Empress, and we've gotten four You've levels done. done. Well. You understand the basic rules of the game now. Yep. From here, they will change. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so that means that in the next episode of Hand of Fate 2, we'll be tackling the Emperor, which is very cool. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Hand of Fate 2. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.